Hey there you guys, this is John. I've got use on Battlefield 3 chopper footage here. Now, unfortunately we're in the uh, the big heavy ass Havoc tank mm. chopper, but I do believe it has the better cannon, so the uh, infantry uh, should be mowed down a little bit more easily with this one. But it's a real pig to fly, it's a real, uh, it is just like a flying tank basically. The uh, the Viper on the other team will, will easily outmaneuver it. So you've got to be a bit more careful with this. Make sure you get the upper hand first. So we uh, we have a pretty good run in this chopper. This is um, part one of a two-part gameplay. The uh, at the end of this, the um, the chopper unleashes an electronic countermeasure which I've never ever seen before, and it is all powerful. So, um, but you'll see that at the end. So yeah, but after that, we uh, our teammates weren't really capping flags, so we ditched the chopper and uh, go for some tank footage you know, and then do the business in the tanks, which is the only way to really effectively capture flags. But here we're seeing our role as taking out um, the other chopper and supporting our troops on the ground. Um, you know, making sure that the, the tanks, which like I say, are the real flag cappers make sure they stay safe uh, and protected so what I'm running here is laser designator so I can laser up the enemy air vehicles um, Rizal is uh, uh, actually a guy I used to play with on Bad Company 2 but I haven't really seen him for a while he's just started coming back on again so um, he's got guided missiles so you know I can uh, I can laser the air vehicles he can Peak, you know, here, we, here we were a bit stationary too long. I thought we'd killed. I thought the other two tanks were to my uh, so were to my right here, but there was just one more coming out of the spawn, which I didn't know about. So, kudos to that guy for the good shots. But yeah, so as I was running the guided missile and flares, I've got ECM jammer, laser designator, um, and heat seekers. So the idea being, I can laser up the air vehicles. He can fire one in with the guided missile which will hopefully cause them to waste their flares and then I can finish them off with two heat seekers. So and if anybody locks me up I will hit the ECM jammer to, and get below radar. If they get a shot off the when Rizel has got flares. So uh, yeah but you know, I will not uh, talk all over this, I'll let you watch. You'll see me um, hopefully helping Rizel finish off the uh, the infantry with like, like this here. I mean the don't be fooled as a, as a chopper yeah. pilot. Your job is not to take on infantry. You just dip the nose down and fly over the top of them. You, you're with infantry. Make sure the gunner has the better shot. Um, now, for tanks and uh, helicopters like this, that's my domain. You know, I, I give the, uh, the laser designator the best chance possible for a guided, and finish you off with the heat seekers there. You see? Oh, we didn't even need the heat seekers there. So yeah, don't don't bother taking on infantry unless you absolutely have to in the chopper. Give the gunner every chance that he needs to take them out with the gun because that is the best way to uh, to finish off infantry. And then I, as the the pilot, deal with the tanks and, and the hardware basically. So yeah, I'll switch now to the game comms. Hope you enjoy and stick around. I'll put part two on later on in the week so you can see the conclusion of this map. Yeah, I'll see you soon. They've got a tank on the world. Mm -hmm. 
dead. That hill's up over the mountain to the left. There's just gone behind the mountain, I think. Helicopter above us. Yeah. Yeah. 